One of the ways the SAI helps us as a state education agency figure out what the quality of professional learning is, when we engage with people regarding the SAI, when we engage with schools and districts, the SAI really looks at high quality professional learning. And for a lot of schools and districts, they don't know or even how to define that. They're not sure what that is. But the real practical kind of bullet points and the statements that the SAI test against when you look at those statements, everyone can kind of say, okay, so about observing each other's classrooms, all of us know what that looks like. And all of us know if it's meaningful or if it's not meaningful, things of that nature. So being able to really engage with schools and districts to say, okay, are you doing it? And if you're doing it, what does it look like? And then having conversations around that. I remember one time we were working with a particular district and um, it was a very large district. And we had several different schools represented. And some of the schools were saying, oh, well, you know, the kind of things you're asking us to do, we just can't do it in our district. We just can't. And I said, okay, well, help me understand why. And they started talking about it. But as soon as before they even started, another school in that same district said, you know, that's not true. We do that. We do those things. And here's how we do it. And they started talking about it. And all of the things they were mentioning, they said the reason how they were able to get there was because of the SAI. They took the SAI statements. And then they said, okay, if these are what leadership looks like, or if these are what implementation look like, or if these are what resources look like, we're going to start doing these things. And by doing these things, it'll get us to where we need to get. And so they talked about the fact that those were the things they concentrated on. And it was really eye-opening for the other schools in the district because they didn't realize that simply by looking at the SAI and looking at those real tactile statements of what they need to do, that those could give them a starting point. The other districts who kept saying, we can't do that, or the other schools that kept saying, we can't do this, we just, it's so overwhelming, didn't know where to begin. And so by one school illuminating the fact that just simply by following the SAI statements, that allowed them to kind of hit at the standards, and it also allowed them to really find ways to propel the work forward. It also provided ownership for the teachers that they were trying to get involved because, again, it's hard to get people around heady ideas, but it's not difficult to say, okay, if one of the statements is for us to look at our resources, or if one of the statements is, you know, I would consider my principal empowering. Set up a time and look at that word. What does empowering mean to all of us? Okay, and if that's what he's being, he or she is being judged by, then how do we make sure that we can put things in place that he would be seen as empowering? Because we all know that that's important. You know, it's those sorts of things that kind of, like I said, it provides a real soundbite for people to kind of wrap themselves around and then kind of move forward.